Hey guys, so um, I'm back again today with a video to tell you about my August makeup kit. Um, so basically I have this huge collection of makeup and I always find myself going to the exact same things. I use the same mascara every day, the same concealer every day when I might have like 20 of them. And so um, basically the idea is that I will grab a makeup bag, so I'm using my Ariel one this month um, and probably for a lot of months because it's my favorite one. Um, and I will fill it with some products that I rarely use that I want to start, you know, utilizing more. So I'll use it for the month and maybe it'll become a new favorite um, or maybe I'll just use it for the month to get some use out of it. Um, and so I am going to show with you guys my August kit. The makeup I have on today is from that makeup and I have a video detailing it. Um, what I'm using and a little bit of close looks and pictures and stuff. So if you're interested in that um, Go check that out. I will try to link it down below if I remember but yes So let me get into it, and I'm going to show you what I have I didn't do my hair today as usual, but I did do my makeup so that I could show you guys um, Kind of what I was doing with my makeup kit this month um, Jam Beauty Dang, I don't know her full name, but I know it's capital J-A-M. She has a makeup drawer of the month, and so that's kind of what inspired this. Um, and I always have this issue that I have all of this makeup and never utilize it all, and that's kind of the purpose of creating a monthly box, is so that you can um, use products that you're not always pulling for. Um, and so let's get into what is in my bag. So first I'm going to start off with face stuff, which I have four face products. Um, you'll notice that there's a primer missing, and that is because lately I've been working a lot, so the only reason I wear makeup is to film videos um, lately, and I don't really need a primer to wear my makeup for an hour or two, which, it, like, my makeup might settle better, but my camera um, kind of hides a lot of those flaws, so it's not really necessary, but I do have it right here if I need to use it, but it's not in my actual bag taking up space. Um, so the first thing is my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. Um, this concealer is okay. I bought it hoping that it was kind of a dupe for my favorite, um, for this matte concealer, hoping it was a dupe for this so that maybe I could switch them out. Um, definitely not. It, it's a little bit, it's almost, it's creamier, but that means that it blends out faster and it doesn't give as good coverage. Um, next, an oldie but a goodie, my CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. I've used this since I was in middle school, um, but I stopped using it for so, so long. You can use it as a powder, you can use it as a foundation, you can use it, you know, to set under eye concealer. It's very versatile, and it does come in, like, translucent light, so it's translucent, but a little bit of coverage. Um, that's what I'm wearing, um, and I love it, because you can blend it out or you can build it up. Literally a favorite. Um, then my NYX blush in Pinched. Um, my blushes, I go through phases where I'll wear the same one every day for like two weeks, um, but I do use most of them. This one is one that I use a lot, but I still found myself going more towards my e.l.f. blushes more often, so I wanted to get some use out of this. It's NYX Pinched. Um, I don't have a lot of NYX products, but I am slowly delving into them. Um, the ones I've tried, I'm not really a huge fan of, but they're okay. Like, not bad, not good. Um, my e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. Love this bronzer. I don't use it as a bronzer per se because it is so, so shimmery. Um, but I like to just dust it over my face in the summertime for like a nice healthy glow. Um, so those are all of my face products. Next, I will move on to lip products. Oh wait, one more face product. Hold on. I have this e.l.f. Oliver um, color face stick and persimmon. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It's kind of like a, like a um, think lipstick, but a little bit harder. It's not as like velvety smooth, and it's a highlighter. I like to apply it with my finger. Um, some people just put it on. I don't like that. Um, which I guess was kind of a bad choice considering I put powder foundation in. I'd have to put it on and then put my foundation over, which I guess is good because um, it won't make you look too shiny, but it was kind of like I probably should have chosen a powder highlighter. Um, I don't really contour and highlight that much, um, but in case I wanted to, I had one. I had three lip products. Um, this Love and Beauty by Forever 21 in baby pink and silver. Um, I got this for free because I spent like over a certain amount of money at Forever 21 and I have never used it. This e.l.f. matte lip color in T3 
T. Rose. Now, I use this occasionally. It's kind of too pink for me, but I've been getting into more pinky colors, so I was hoping that I would like this. And it's matte. I mostly have um, shiny colors in the bag, so I wanted one safe color just in case. Um, Burt's Bees Chapstick. Um, I like to put chapstick on before I put any lip product on. Um, and then this e.l.f. beauty, or this e.l.f. jumbo lip gloss stick in Sangria Starters. This is very red, and like I said, I'm not into wearing outrageous colors. Um, except for one time I found the perfect red by e.l.f., which um, you've probably seen me wear before. Um, if not, it's on my Instagram, you can go check it out. Um, and so yeah, those are my lip products. They're a little bit outrageous for me, so I'm nervous, but we'll see. As far as brows, I have been struggling to find the perfect brow product lately without spending a lot of money, and I finally hit the jackpot. Um, so this um, Wet n Wild Color Icon Stick in the color Taupe, it is perfect, it's 99 cents, it does its job, it stays, I love it. I have a lot of these pencils, but they're like purple and green and like colors um, that you would use like to line your eyes, not for your eyebrows. Um, and I love them, so 99 cents, you can't beat it. And then, I'm going to get into my mascara. I picked out um, L'Oreal Voluminous Original, another oldie but a goodie. I used to wear this in 8th grade. Loved, loved, loved it. Ran out, never repurchased it. Finally repurchased it. I'm upset because I accidentally got it in a brown color instead of black, but I still loved the mascara so, so much. And usually I'm wearing like falsies or um, the rocket, so it was nice to switch out of that. Um, and then for eyeshadow primer, I am wearing my Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day. Um, I only have two eyelid primers. I have the e.l.f. one and this one. I generally go towards the e.l.f. one, except for it's running out, and I really, I, I don't see a difference in eye primers, so... I'm just going to use that. Next, um, as kind of a highlighter color, I got Wet n Wild Taupe. I went out of my way 30 miles to find this eyeshadow, um, and so I decided I need to start using it, because I had never used it before, like for, and I've had it for three months. So. Next, um, for eyeshadows, Spoiled Brat. That was weird. Next for eyeshadows, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in Spoiled Brat. Um, this just has a little bit of outrageous colors in it for me. Um, I generally stick to like n nude colors and very neutral shades. Um, and so, if I feel like experimenting, this will be the trio that I experiment with. Um, I got my e.l.f. Um, not paint pot, what is it? Smudge pot in Cruise and Chic. Now I bought these in every shade but two. I think I don't have Gotta Glow and I don't have the um, like eggplant colored one. Um, this is in Cruise and Chic. I fell in love with it today doing my makeup. I love these. I just never use them because I feel like they're so hard to blend except for they're not. I was just not used to cream shadows. I was used to powders. So they're not actually hard to blend. Um, it was just me. Um, and then next, last eyeshadow. So I got, um, I have my MAC palette that is filled with, um, e.l.f. eyeshadows, except for I gave my sister, f how many did I give her? I gave my sister four of them, so I always have two missing because there were, like, s 17 shades. Um, I gave my sister four shades, so I always have two missing, and then I took four out and put in this palette to use. Um, they're e.l.f. shades, and... And somebody, sorry, somebody mentioned to me that they had been loving these eyeshadows. I had tried them out a few times and didn't like the pigmentation. I went back to them and realized that I actually do love them. Um, so this shade is Taupe, Aubergine, Mocha, and Peach Fizz. I have been, this person mentioned that Taupe was their favorite shade. Um, and I have been using it and loving it. Um, that, that swatch does not do it justice. Um, dang it, I wish I could make it better. Let's see. Yep, nope, these swatches are making it look crazy. 
so unfortunately can't swatch it for you guys um, in this lighting. Um, and then for eyeliners, um, again, Wet n Wild Color Icon 99 cents, the purple one, it goes perfect with the aubergine, um, like if you smudge it out with the aubergine, um, eyeshadow that was in that quad that I just showed you, it has to be smudged out though or it will run. One time I didn't smudge it out, um, and it ran everywhere, it got everywhere, but I smudged it out and it's staying great. Um, and then this e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I love the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner that comes in the little, um, cone, like this. I love this one. They came out with this one, and I thought I would try it. Um, but I used it once and then put it away. I think that the handle is just too long to, like, have any precision. It's just too long. And then the end, it seems to have fixed itself. I don't know if you can see. I pointed it out in my haul video, but... It's just like, this brush thing is too long for any density, so. Anyways, that is the makeup that I will be using for the rest of August. Let me know if you have any of these products and what you think, or if you have like a monthly drawer of makeup that you use, or how you go about that. Let me know, please. Please let me know about it in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.